Hello all, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are doing well and healthy. Here we are with a humble effort to introduce contemporary Indian writers in English. Today's video is all about India's first literary pop star. Yes, it's Amish Tripathi. If you are a book fanatic and enjoy reading mythologies and novels, you guys need no introduction for Amish Tripathi. You must really be a fan of Amish Tripathi if you guys have read the Shiva Trilogy. Have you guys read it? If not, I seriously recommend you to read it. It's so thoughtful and deep that once you start reading, you will not keep the book down until you finish it. His books are with true philosophical depth. He takes the readers into fascinating view of India's rich past and culture with immense curiosity. Most of you must have known or heard the name Amish Tripathi by reading his books or through some other way. But there may be some of you who do not know who he actually is. Let me help you. Amish Tripathi, born on 18 October 1974 in Mumbai, India, grew up in a religious household. Tripathi is a recognized contemporary Indian fiction writer, best known for writing the Shiva trilogy and the Ramchandra series. His debut novel Immortals of Meluha made a record breaking sale within a few weeks of its launch making him an internationally acclaimed Indian author It was the fastest selling books in the Indian publishing history Amish's books have sold over 5.5 million copies in the Indian subcontinent since 2010 He is an MBA graduate from IIM Kolkata He worked as a banker for 14 years which was not his dream but his dream was to be a historian and he loved history How did he start writing the Shiva trilogy or from where did he get this idea I know that people who have read his books must have this question in their minds Personally even I was fascinated by his thoughts and the ideas he had written Now here is the answer for your question His writing career began with a philosophical debate inspired by an interesting piece of knowledge he and his family discovered on a television show. The clash of the concept of good and the evil in these mythologies stimulated his interest to determine what exactly is evil. At the encouragement of his family, he put down the philosophical theses on paper. Shortly, the thesis was transformed into an adventure story of a Hindu god Shiva. Just guess how it took him to finish the book. It took Tripathi nearly 5 years to finish the book. A very long time indeed, but it's worth the time. Here are some of the facts of the literary pop star which you will be eager to know. The Shiva trilogy is indeed his life-changing publication. After the success of the book, He quit his banking job and committed to writing which was his passion too. And you guys know what his debut novel is going to be a movie under Karan Johar's Dharma Productions. The film rights have been secured and I know you guys are really excited and waiting for it. Even I am. Did you guys know that Immortals of Meluha was rejected by every publisher? It was rejected because they believed that The readers are much more into love stories than these kind of historic and mythological content. But little did they know that his mythology had such a powerful story in it which would be loved by all who have read it. He had self published the book. The effort to complete a novel is really interesting, isn't it? Each author has his own way of committing to his work. Amish was so passionate in history and to write about it. So he who was a control freak before writing had become fully devoted and a follower of Lord Shiva while he was attempting and writing a book on Lord Shiva This is very good transformation Another interesting fact about Amish is that he sticks to his ideas and to what he believed Don't you think that makes us a better person It really does 
Although a few publishers wanted changes in his novel, in the first stage of first book, he still remained truthful to his ideologies and that did work wonders for him. He says that following his passion is the main reason behind his success. Due to the success of the first two books, the publishers of the book, Westland, paid a whopping 6.63 crores for the third book even before it was written. He is indeed a successful and popular writer of this generation. So if we follow our passion, we are to be successful and happy in life. Now I think those out there who haven't read the book have got an interest in Amish and his books. He introduces the youth to ancient value systems. You must at least be curious enough to check it out. So what are you waiting for? Grab your copies now itself. I guess this piece of information was useful to you guys. Keep supporting and stay tuned for the next interesting video. Do like, comment and share. Thank you.